Hey guys and welcome back to This Is Not Like Irish Dance. If you have never watched this before, my name is Delaney Cairns and I have been a competitive Irish dancer for Trinity Academy of Irish Dance for over 10 years. Through Trinity, I do solos, competitions, teams, competitions. I perform all over all around the world in international dance festivals. I do St. Patrick's Day shows. I also teach. As an update for anybody who has watched in the past, I have stepped away, sadly, from solos competing um, as I have reached the highest level <laughs> um, and decided to focus on other things as of right now. But I still am a part of teams and right currently I am learning the Dawn, which is a very intense and complicated dance. And um, I will be including videos of the Dawn from today's practice actually, which is why I'm wearing this, show its relation to the dance form we're doing today because I think they're very similar and I think that's a really cool connection. Through this, these videos, I tried a bunch of different types of dance forms and I um, see if I can do them pretty much and see how they relate to Irish dance. And I really just have a passion for all different types of dance. So I think these videos are so fun for me. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first dance form we're doing in this this year is um, Bollywood. So Bollywood is essentially a um, Indian, like Hindi dance form mixed with um, Western culture. So like, um, it's just like a fusion of a lot of different dance forms from all around the world, which I think is so freaking cool. So pretty much Irish dance, Trinity at least, mixes a lot of different dance forms. Like I've had classes with hip hop instructors and um, we just pull from all different parts of the world but have our own like Irish layer to it. And I think that's what Bollywood is. So Bollywood though is for Indian films. They incorporate facial expressions, hand gestures, using mudras, which is something I read a lot about. Actually, I have seen a um, Indian dance troupe when I was in North Carolina for an international dance festivals. And one thing I noticed was they do a lot with their eyes. So most of the time they're just like this. But the amount of things that they did with their eyes, they could tell like a story with their eyes. Thing is they would wear like bells or things on their anklets so that they would make noise, but they would wear like no shoes. So it wasn't like tap dancing noise, but like they would wear things that when they moved and made noise, they were decked out and so so much like jewelry, which I know Irish dancers have a lot of like sparkles and stuff, but I thought that their jewelry was really cool and like looked really authentic. But a mudra is different hand gestures used across different Indian dance forms. There are 108 mudras in total. Mudras together with full body movements give complete meaning to Bollywood dance style. Let's get into learning a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so the video I will be learning from today is um, the Belgrade Theater Bollywood Dance Tutorial. It's just a two minute, 40 second video. Really small routine. It's just pretty much two movements, but I think it would be a good place to start. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that. Same time, we're gonna be bopping with the right leg. One, two, three, four. Let's put everything together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Okay, I'm struggling a little bit with that feet movement. I don't know why, I just feel really awkward doing it, but um, I also, I am not really good at doing arms and feet at the same time because if you haven't seen Irish dancing before, we pretty much keep our arms right by our side the whole time. And this is something I struggled a lot with last year. Up to the left, to the right, spinning backwards and hands up, palms open. Okay, and one, two, three, and four, and with the music, seven, and. Let's try once more. Five, six, seven, and. I did that. So I'm just gonna talk about a few things that were very similar to Irish dance before I close this off. So um, in Irish dance, it's not very similar to traditional dance at all, but I think it is very similar to choreography, the dawn. So, and I was doing that today, so I do have that 
in my mind a lot but um so one thing that's similar is the the stomping your feet a little bit as we're doing this because that is something that we actually do in the dog and then also the very intentional movements similar because there are some dance forms that it's like just flow and like improv or like do whatever you want like do what you want at this point like move your body the way you want to but there's in our stance it's like move your body in this exact way or you're doing it wrong and I think that's something you don't find in many dance forms but I think that was very similar in this one so um I think that's it, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon for another dance form. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm very excited to find out. Um, yeah, bye guys.